This is the Sunday Motivational Video. Every Sunday, we bring you a different type of video which should improve your life. Today, we're looking at 15 Signs You're a Beta Male. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Now, this Sunday video will make a couple of you guys cry because you've been living in a bubble. The goal in life is to not bullshit yourself, right? To see reality for what it actually is and then proceed to make the necessary changes to get an advantage or an edge. First of all, what is a beta male? The beta male is an unremarkable, mediocre, careful man who avoids risk and confrontation. Beta males lack the physical presence, charisma, confidence, and success associated with winners in life. You're probably thinking, well, that doesn't sound like me. I'm a winner. Always have been, always will be. It's time to put that to the test. We made this video specifically for those of you who are struggling with this. We're not talking about gym lads who can bench press twice their body weight, but instead we're focusing on a more holistic approach. Some might even mention that there are other categories like gamma males and omega males. But to be honest, if you're not an alpha, does it even matter what you call yourself? We live in a world where everyone is becoming soft, not in a physical way, although that is happening, but in a moral way and from a mindset perspective. People today are getting participation trophies, and whenever faced with something difficult in their life, they'd rather retreat than face it head on because they lack the capability to deal with the situation directly. It's enough to go to any crowded spot, and you'll see them with their neck beards, in one hand holding a confusingly complicated cup of Starbucks coffee, and in the other, a donut while nonchalantly wearing a fedora. Maybe we're stretching a bit, but you know the type. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Well, it's time to find out if you share the same traits as that guy, and we'll share some of the things you can do to improve your current situation. Here are 15 signs you're a beta male and what to do about it. Number one, you don't feel like your life is getting better and better. The first sign you're a beta male is that you're unhappy with your life. You don't wake up satisfied with what you've achieved and with your reality. You are probably living a boring life where you have a repetitive job that barely allows you to pay rent and survive. You look forward to the weekend because that's the only time you escape the hamster running on a wheel lifestyle. And even then, you're unlikely to do anything worth mentioning. A beta male feels trapped in this existence, and for him, life isn't getting better by the day. He's not closing in on the goals he had when he was younger because he has already given up on those goals. Here's what to do about it. If your life is not getting better and better, you might want to set one new objective for this year which involves you getting out of your comfort zone, something you're even scared of doing, and then dedicate your time and work to make it happen. If you do, you'll prove to yourself that you're more than your current reality and start building momentum. With enough time, you can improve your situation. Number 2. You never faced your bullies most character traits form in childhood and stick around in your adult life. Most people get bullied in life, but guess what? You'll have to deal with them throughout your entire life in different forms. Bullying is bad, but it's part of your existence. Now look at your past and recall those moments. What did you do? How did you feel? Were you scared or did you stand up for yourself? Bullies target the weak because they're easy targets, so if you've been bullied, you probably were easy game. It's time to face that reality. Now, did you change, or does the same thing still happen today, only with a different cover on it? Once you realize bullies take it out on others because they don't know how else to deal with their own crumbling reality, they no longer have power over you. It's enough for you to face them once. Stand up for yourself. Prove you're not going to allow them to come after you and they won't bother you again. Or if they still do, they better get ready because it ain't going to be as easy as they expect it to be. Number 3. You rely on others like your family to make decisions for you. A common trait between beta males is the lack of decision power. They fail to be in control of their lives. They're scared of making their own decisions and usually let others make them for them. 
Your parents pick your university. Your parents approve who you're dating. Your mom or your girlfriend picks what you wear. So you end up becoming their idea of who you should be without being true to who you really are. Give it enough time and these two slightly different personas start to clash within you and you end up miserable because the life you're now living is not the life you want to live. The beautiful thing about making your own decisions is that even if the end result is less than what you're hoping for, you got it on your own. You have a clear image of what you're actually capable of and can now build on top of that. Number 4. You're Physically Weak Physical strength is often a contributing factor in self-confidence. It happens to also be an indication of someone's health. Even as animals, ever since the earliest of days, the opposite sex has been attracted to healthy specimens in order to procreate. This trait creates a feedback loop because being fit and healthy brings in more attention, and the more attention you get, the more confident you become. At the other end of the spectrum lies the beta males, who seem vulnerable and in a precarious state from a health perspective. People don't want to be around other people who seem like they are unable to take care of themselves because they are seen as a burden. One of the most direct steps toward escaping the beta male status is by getting healthy. Cut the sugar, hit the gym once in a while, go running, shower often and you'll see how the world is treating you differently. Number 5. You're in the friend zone. It doesn't get simpler than this. If you're in the friend zone, you're probably a beta male. The truth is, most of you end up in the friend zone because all you do is act like a friend, not a possible partner or lover. You've positioned yourself incorrectly, and now you're stuck there. But Alux, I'm in the friend zone because I'm too nice, I'm not a douchebag. No, you're probably not as nice as you think you are. Just because you think of yourself as a nice guy doesn't mean the world should see you the same way. For all we know, in her eyes, you might look like a total loser. And you'll maintain that image if you continue your current behavior, because it's clearly not working for her. Here's a quick game plan to never end up in the friend zone. Make your intentions clear from the beginning. That's actually it. Ask them out on a proper date for you to know each other better, but don't put yourself in the position of being her shoulder to cry on as she moves from boyfriend to boyfriend, hoping at some point you're going to be next in line. That's how most guys friend zone themselves. Also, being nice to someone doesn't mean they should want to have sex with you, so if that's the reason you're acting nice, then you are an asshole. As a beta male, you'll be faced with a situation a lot because you're not really sure about who you are and what kind of relationships to have with different people. The only way to break through this is to just go for it. Rejection early on will help you understand the rules of the game. Next time you try, you'll be better prepared. Number 6. You can't say no and stand your ground. Beta males have a hard time saying no to other people, despite them not wanting to engage or do what's being asked, and goes against the beta's interests. Some hide under the mask that, again, they're just being nice or being a people pleaser, but there's a difference between acting for the general good of the group and doing something for someone else at your own expense. These can happen at school, at work, in your family, and in any type of relationship you might have. If you don't stand up for yourself and act in your best interests, don't be shocked if you end up in a place where you're not valued, you're not happy, and which you despise. You gotta start saying no to others and yes to yourself. This won't make you self-centered, but you can't help others if you don't help yourself first. Number 7. Even in your circle of friends, some people make fun of you. It's all fun and games until you realize that even in your circle of friends, you're one of the weakest links and your friends treat you as such. This can happen for a multitude of reasons, but even in your small circle of people who are just like you, there are small hierarchies. Make sure to stand your ground and earn the respect of the group. Do not simply demand it because nobody has to give you anything. Don't be the friend that's left walking alone behind the group. Add real value to the squad and be treated as an equal. Number 8. Your existence largely centers around pastimes, like browsing the internet, anime, video games, or TV shows. There is so much distraction around us that it's easy to get trapped into binge-watching everything on Netflix. The beta male is characterized by consuming a lot of junk, which does nothing to increase his livelihood. 
Despite what you're thinking, all the memes on huge LOL or 9gag won't make you smarter or a more interesting person. Playing video games for 12 hours straight will not make you a better strategist at life. Watching sports while eating Cheetos on your couch does nothing positive for your health. Consume entertainment, but limit it to small enough doses and instead put that time towards something productive. You're doing this to yourself. Locking yourself up in a mind state where you actively choose to escape reality because you're not pleased with the real thing. The world looks down on these individuals because you're filled with potential, but for some reason decided to throw it all away because you're lazy. Number 9. You Make Excuses if you say you're going to do something, then you better get to it. Nobody wants to be around someone who's always looking for excuses, who's lazy and doesn't do their part. Our word is our bond, and every time you back out of something you said you'll do, you're devaluing it. At one point, you need to face the truth. You're always finding excuses when the real reason why you're not taking action is because you're scared of failure or you're just lazy. Sooner or later, life is going to hit you like a brick house, because this kind of behavior not only is not rewarded in the real world, but it's going to make it even more difficult for you to deal with the real world. Number 10. You have no sense of style. You can spot an alpha male from a distance. He's well-groomed, well-dressed, fit, with the right posture and attitude in the sea of beta males that surround him. As a beta, you're just barely passing by, you're an extra in this movie. This isn't about having expensive clothes, it's about respecting yourself enough to take care of the way people perceive you. Regular showers and baths can go a long way for most individuals. Knowing how to buy the right type of clothes for each season, for your body type or occasion, requires just a couple of minutes of research, which most people never choose to bother with. Fashion is so cheap these days with fast fashion brands like Zara or H&M, leaving you with no excuse not to have appropriate clothing. If this is something you're currently struggling with, there's a video on our channel called 15 Things Every Man Should Do According to Tom Ford, which will help you navigate these waters. You can check it out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. You don't look people in the eye, and you're nervous when you talk to them. Even now, your palms get sweaty thinking about it. Looking people in the eye, not in a creepy way, but during a conversation, lets the other know that you value what they're saying and they have your attention. You take this conversation seriously and you're honest about your intentions. It's a sign of confidence in your own capabilities. You can tell that a person is hiding something or is disingenuous from the way he behaves in social interactions. If looking people in the eye when talking to them is something you find difficult, then you're likely a beta male. Number 12. You don't get laid much, and even when you do, it's not that great. Being a sexually active person is a sign of good health. If you've checked off most of the boxes so far, it isn't a surprise that you don't engage with the opposite sex. I mean, when would you? When you're spending most of your free time playing Fortnite or binge-watching anime series. The woman of your dreams will not show up at your doorstep just presenting herself. You need to get out more, interact with more people, try things, experiment. That way, you'll get to learn new things about yourself and being around other people will get easier in time. So go get laid. It's great for both your physical health and your mindset. But remember, nobody owes you anything. Number 13. Actually has a big ego, but you can't control it. You must think that having a big ego is usually associated with alpha males, but that isn't true. We all have egos, it's just that some control it better than others. Beta males have a big ego, but it usually backfires on them because they're insecure or too sensitive about everyone's opinion about them. You can always spot a beta male with an ego problem, because he'll always try to overcompensate by pushing forward his qualifications or awards. They usually think they're better than everyone else, feel insulted if you question their abilities, but when things really come down to it, he can't put his money where his mouth is. A true alpha doesn't need to do that because he's confident in his own abilities. Number 14. You're a follower, not a leader. Beta males are not the ones who take initiative. They usually wait for someone else to initiate and then jump on the bandwagon. 
They rarely have original ideas and tend to live in the shadow of an alpha. He is unable to coordinate people or get them to follow his plan of action because people disregard his ability to achieve results. This often happens in companies where usually people rally behind those who manage to get the best results. And really, the world needs followers, otherwise we'd all be fighting for the title. But if you identify as a follower and not a leader, this usually correlates to being a beta. Number 15. You feel offended by this video. If anything we said in this video offends you and made you dislike this video or stop watching it until the end, well, you're a beta male. You're offended by someone you've never met over the internet because deep down you know we struck a chord somewhere too close to the truth and you're aware of that. With that said, we didn't make this video to offend anybody. Instead, consider it more like a cold shower which would make everyone reflect on what their life is currently like and maybe find a few ways to improve. If you take a single piece of information from this video, tackle it head on and your life is better because of it, then we're pleased with the end result. There are two types of beta males in this world, the ones who are aware of their situation and looking to improve it, or the ones who will never do anything about it. Hopefully you Aluxers are either an alpha or in the first category of betas. We're curious to know, how many of these points mentioned on the list have you identified with? Let us know in the comments. This will be a sign that you're open to dealing with them and improving your reality instead of brushing it off and ignoring the problem. Next Sunday, we'll do the opposite of the coin and look at what the traits are for the alpha male. As a reward for watching this video all the way to the end, of course, you get an extra sign. Number 16. You would rather change the rules than play to win. People are trying to change the rules to make their negative reality acceptable instead of bettering themselves. If everyone gets a participation trophy, if everyone's a winner, there are no longer any winners. There are no longer incentives to strive for being better. If your current lifestyle is not good for you, is not healthy, do not try to normalize it or make it sound okay just so you feel better. Instead, accept the truth and do something about it. Only those who are willing to change will get to thrive in this world. If you're open to making some changes in your life, please write CHANGE in the comments and get started on making a game plan immediately. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.